Dear viewers, Assalam o alaikum. Have you ever wished to make a real calculator like this in Algadu, which can do all the basic operations that a simple calculator can do? If you are interested to learn this, then this video is for you. So let's begin. Bismillahi Rahmane Rahim. To make a real looking calculator, you can copy an image from Google Images. First, search for a calculator. Save the image. Then, search for a blank calculator display. And save it too. Now, open Algadu. Import both the images into Algadu scene. Resize the calculator image. Cut the black display precisely in a rectangle shape. Put the blank display over the calculator's screen, so that it may hide the screen below. Select the whole image and glue it to the background. Use knife tool and cut all the buttons from one another. First give horizontal cuts between buttons rows. Now give vertical cuts between buttons columns. Now all the buttons are separated from one another. Now, we need to create these five global variables. To create global variables, open the console by clicking F10. Type the first variable and hit enter. Type all other variables in the console area, one by one, and save them by pressing enter. As I have written them on my wordpad, therefore I just copy and paste them. Otherwise you will have to type it. So, we are done with variables. Now, let's come towards coding for the buttons. First, let's code for this AC button, which will be used to clear the screen. To code for the button, right-click on the button and go to the script menu. Inside script menu, go to on-click variable. You have to type this code inside the curly brackets. The code is given in the right on the wordpad.
The code for AC button is done now. Now, we need to code for the main display area, where our answer will appear. For this purpose, we need to create a rectangle box. Once the box is created, resize it to the answer area, and put it above the main display. Glue it to the background. Make it colorless, and uncheck the borders. Now, open the scripting area for this newly created box. For the answer to appear in main display, you have to type this code inside the update property in curly brackets. Change the color of the text from white to black. We also need to create three more boxes for question area, where we type questions to be solved. The first box is for the first number you type. Put this small box above the answer display area. Make it colorless and remove the borders. Now, type this code in the update property of the scripting area of this newly created small box. Change the text color to black. Create a second small box for the second number to appear in. Put it here. Make it colorless. Now, type this code in the update field of the scripting menu of this box. Change the text color to black. Create a third small box, for the operator symbol to appear in. Put this box between the two boxes created previously. Make it colorless. Type this code inside the curly brackets in front of update property of the scripting menu of this middle box. Now, let's code for the operator's buttons. First, let's code for the plus button. I copied this code, but you will have to type manually. I then opened the script menu for the plus button. Type or paste the code inside the curly brackets in front of the on click property and hit enter. Type this code in the on click property of the scripting menu of the minus button.
Use this code for multiplication button. Procedure is similar to the plus and minus buttons. For division button, use this code. For square root button, use this code in the onClick property. Now, let's come to the numbers buttons. This is the code that will be used for all the number buttons with slight changes. So, you just need to type it only once and then copy and paste inside each number button and make the necessary changes. I just copied the pre-typed code. Go to button number 1. Open the script menu. Paste or type the code in front of the on-click property. And hit enter. Now, copy the code for rest of the numbers buttons. Open the script menu for button number 2. Paste the code inside onclick property. Just change these two numbers. Instead of 1.0, you type 2.0 here in these two places. Now go to the script menu of the third button and paste the same code in the onclick property. Just make the same two modifications on the same positions. But this time, instead of 1.0, type 3.0 in both the places. Repeat the same procedure for all the number buttons. For button number 4, type 4.0. For button number 5, type 5.0, and so on. Now, let's activate the equals button. This is the code for the answers button. You have to type this code manually. As I already have typed it in my WordPad, therefore I am just copying it. After copying it, just right-click on the Answers button and go to the Script menu. Paste or type the code in the onclick property and hit Enter. This is how it looks after hitting enter button. I forgot to type the code for zero button. Let's do it now. Just open the script menu of the button. Type the same code you typed for all other buttons. Just make modifications at two places. You need to type zero at both these places. Our 100% working calculator is ready now. Let's try to use it. As you can see it's working just like a real calculator.
That was all for today. Thank you for watching. Please, don't forget to subscribe my channels. Bye.